Welcome back to Modern Homestead, Alaska. Today is day 11. This morning, my amazing neighbor and her boys and I are at Pyra's Pioneer Peak Farm, right? Yeah, that's the peak. <laughs> it is a U-Pick farm. So the boys and Amanda and I are going to go pick some vegetables. So join us today. We Welcome to our vlog. We are the Milnes family. We started building a modern homestead outside of Wasilla, Alaska in the summer of 2021. That's my husband, Aaron. I am Jessica, a stay-at-home wife and mom. Our second son, Caleb, lives here with us along with our daughter, Cody Ann, and the youngest of our family, Wyatt. We brought our two dogs, Tipper and Daisy, and got a new addition, the Alaska dog, Roberto. They have like a whole little playland for the kids here. It's like bigger than all So this is the cabbage patch. Here's a nice one. You want this one? Look at their potatoes. Mm -hmm. All potatoes? Yeah. I think I'm going to do some colors. This is a rhubarb patch. Probably going to hit that. Rows and rows and rows of zucchini. Okay, so I got some raspberries picked. That took forever. But I'm going to grab some rhubarb because we really do love rhubarb. And then we're going to get some pickling cucumbers. And I think we're done here for the day. I'll show you what I got. I'm going to show you a little bit how you harvest rhubarb in case you've never done it. You don't need a knife. So see this? big plant so you don't want to ever harvest all of it so i just look for the biggest leaf on a plant and you just pull and there you have it and i'll just do one every few plants it's not obviously my garden and i don't know if everyone else knows that but i'm trying to do my own due diligence say hi the boys are getting ready to go. Amanda's waiting in the line to get some pickles. And then I have this much rhubarb. Here we go. We're gonna stop by one more produce stand on the way home. Okay, I just got home from the farmer's market and I didn't grab anything while I was out because I could not wait to get home and make myself lunch. I have to show you what I'm making. Okay, this is how I use some of those ingredients. So this is, I grilled my homemade sourdough bread. I melted that organic American cheese on it. These are the fermented pickles, the spicy fermented pickles. I sliced up one of those. This is some cowboy candy that I make like a relish. I'm going to use this in place of like a mayonnaise or mustard or something like that. So relish on. So this is like a grilled fancy, fancy BLT. Okay, so a bunch of lettuce from the farmer's market. Some sprouts from the farmer's market. 
we're going to do a pickle. I just grabbed one of the, the fermented pickles out and sliced it up. This I just got today, this fresh tomato. Lots and lots of veggies. Huge sandwich. This onion, you saw me get these from the farmer's market, these little balls. Okay. And then Cody hand sliced. some of the bacon. I need to get the rest of it sliced today and in the freezer. But this is that fresh bacon. Giving that a second. So that goes on. And then the last thing is last night with our Indian food, I used some um, yogurt, but this is the cucumber that I grew. This is my mint, a little bit of shallot, but this is some tzatziki sauce that I made, and the only thing I had to buy from the store was the yogurt. So a little tzatziki sauce, mm -mm -mm. and this is going to be my massive, beautiful BLT, where we have either bought it at the farmer's market, grown it, canned it, jarred it ourselves. This is an Alaskan lunch. The cookies that I made yesterday, I went ahead and started packaging these up so that I could get them in the freezer in individual bags so that we have those prepped and ready to go. Okay, I have to move quickly. I just finished doing the cookies. Let me show you. They won't get stored in here, but there's 13 because a dozen plus an extra for Jessica. So 13 in each bag. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten bags of them. Okay, so now my compound butter. I use the same cookie scoop. Look how many I got. It's unbelievable how good this smells. So I'm gonna quickly get them into bags and seal them up and get them into the freezer and these are going to be amazing in the middle of winter giving that fresh herb that fresh lemon there's a little lemon there's garlic there's shallot and you put it and you just sear the bottom of your fish drop a ball of this butter on the top as the butter melts down into the fish you then can spoon it on there until the fish is finished and then serve it with this butter drizzled over the top it is the best way to eat Alaskan halibut. So make your own self some herb butter. You could add dill. I didn't do dill. The reason I didn't do dill is we also eat ribeyes. And I also like to put this on, on bread sometimes instead of like garlic bread. I like to put on bread and pop it under the broiler. So I don't want dill on my steak or on my bread or so on but you could totally add dill to this. So let's get all of this into the food saver, the um, vacuum chamber and seal that. Okay, here's my you pick and the other farmer's market. So, I just got some more collards. I know that I have some in the garden, but I have that salt pork in the fridge and I'm just gonna eat these this week. One little cabbage. These, I'm gonna try and ferment. Um, this and those are going to become pie and I'll figure out if I'm gonna freeze it in the pie dish and then put it in the freezer or not. Okay. These are just some squashes that are going to just get stored and um, as fall rolls around, we'll be able to eat them. This is a light pink, I'll show you in comparison. These are the dark beets 
This is a light beak. And then that's a orangish yellow one. And I just kind of thought because I'm a preacher of the rainbow, um, I thought it would be nice to have a few. So each one of these will probably only make one or two jars of beets and then one or two jars of the beet uh, jelly or syrup. Whereas the other beets will make quite a few pickled. These, I probably wasn't going to pickle. I was just going to can them and then be able to use them this winter in different things. And then in this bag is these beautiful cherry tomatoes. All different beautiful colors. And those are for Aaron's snack this week. So I'll give those to him. Um, and he'll just eat on them along with the few cherries and stuff that are left over. Today, I'm probably not going to do anything as far as like digging out the canner and all of that, but I am going to label and get all of these into the pantry. The bacon, I'm going to get sliced. So right before slicing it, I just pulled it out of the fridge, out of the bag that was stored in, and I popped it in the freezer, and it's gonna go in the freezer for 30 minutes to an hour to get really firm, but don't try and slice it frozen solid. Like, don't leave it in your deep freeze overnight and then try and slice it the next day. Cool it in the fridge, then I popped it in the freezer for 30 minutes to an hour at the most, I'm gonna get our meat slicer out, put all of this away, and then slice and bag up the bacon. So, let me get to labeling and put this away. By the time I'm done with that, the bacon will be ready. We'll get to slicing it and bagging it. Okay, friends, here's the bacon setup. It doesn't quite fit on this slicer this direction yet. So I'm just gonna slice some pieces off of it this wrong direction until I can fit it the long ways. And then the pieces that I slice off that are just shorter, I put them in their own bag and I use them for sandwiches or pasta or anytime you would cut the bacon in half. So let's get started. see beautiful okay behind it because this is suction cup down so it doesn't move is just some parchment paper so i can try and catch all the bits it almost fits but we want to take some off of the other side just kind of squaring up the bacon but not throwing any of the scraps away. All right, I don't know if you can see it, and try not to touch the camera because my hands are covered. So then I just measure out one pound of bacon here on this, this kitchen scale, and then this goes into the freezer bag. 
Beautiful, huh? I try, these are the chunks, but I try and lay them kind of flat in these bags so they freeze really easily, but also so that when I defrost them, they come to temperature faster. So this is what's left of the beef jerky. It's so beautiful. I'm going to do a couple of snack size bags of it and get that in the sealer. And then we can just grab these when we're hitting the road. All right, well, I completely filled this little freezer. All of that needs to get moved to the basement freezers. So, as far as the day went, I went to the You Pick Market. I've done all the dishes. I've cleaned up. I got the slicer and everything completely cleaned. Fried Aaron up a little bit of bacon for dinner. He is just now on his way home. It's nine o'clock because some of his crews are working night, so he had to go check some stuff out. So, we got everything organized and put away and cleaned up and we get to start again tomorrow. So, thank you for joining me. Thank you for sticking around to the end again. If you haven't yet, would you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell, you'll get notifications when I put out new videos. Thumbs up and comments, all those things help my channel. Really appreciate it. Uh, when you like or share these videos with family or friends, it may help encourage someone, get them motivated. Let's work together and all do something for ourselves or our family, those that we love or those that we might end up needing to help in the middle of winter or whatever season is coming for us. So thank you guys. Have a super blessed week and a day and I'll catch you tomorrow. But in the meantime, Will you tell me in the comment section what you guys did today, what you prepped, what you squirreled away, what you worked on, what you cleaned, what you organized, whatever it is that you did to help propel yourself into the future, to have something a little bit brighter, let me know in the comment sections. I really, really love hearing from you. Second, if you're new to my channel, would you just say hello in the comments? I'm actually fairly good at responding to, I try and respond to all of the comments. Um, if I miss you, I'm really sorry. But if you'll just say hello in the comments, I would like to personally say hello back. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a blessed day. See you tomorrow.